Who are our friends? <laughs> So when I finally get off work, a lot of the times over the weekend or whatever, I'm like, it's time to hit up a park. But this weekend was a little different. I had a one thing in mind. Watch The Lion King. Curse Disney and their brainwashing. Now, was it a waste of time and a blatant money grab? <laughs> I'm not answering that question. I'm not trying to get attacked by subliminal Mickeys. But what I will confirm is Beyonce's voice indeed did a whole ass Immelman around Donald Glover's three auto-tune notes. I loved The Lion King growing up. It was so colorful and vibrant, and it was just so African that the protagonist was Matthew Broderick. There would be no Inspector Gadget without Inspector Ghana. No producers without Pride Rock, okay? There would be no The Cable Guy without The Colonist. Though I love The Lion King, I feel like African themes are always like animals and wildlife as if there's no people there with cultures and histories and philosophies. So with theme parks, I know a lot of rides are named after animals and things like that. But geez, they don't do that with European. With European themes, they be like talking about folklore and fairy tales and different philosophers and stuff. Can you imagine a theme park section and like the only rides there was like Pine Martin Express. Let's go to the Europe section to ride the wolf. You gotta make up a fake a European myth. Let's go ride Schlotzendeer. But when it comes to Africa, it's always Anaconda this and Safari that. Look, if I wanted to talk about Nicki Minaj, I'd be talking about her new man who may or may not be plotting to rob her ass. So let's go on a journey to see African culture in theme and amusement parks.
I don't show it all the time, but deep down inside, like, I slap shit out of all y'all. <laughs> I love the architecture of the deep in Africa section of Fantasia land. Um, it's based off of ancient civilizations such as Timbuktu and the Django. Yep, they even have Jamie Foxx. Wish the name of the focal attraction Black Mamba wouldn't have been an animal, but it's okay. Two is based on an actual Egyptian war god who was human with a beak. You don't really know if he would talk or call at you. Um, he'd probably shit white goo. Africa section at Disney's Animal Kingdom is spectacular, of course. Though I hate that it's Disney-esque and synthesized, um, but it's inspired by real Kenyan and like Eastern African villages and cultures. So that's good, but you know, the mouse loves a meta-analysis. Well, there's some, a few good depictions of African cultures and ethnicities. So I can't be completely mad at the amusement and theme park industry. However, a good deal of them are not contemporary cultures or ethnic groups. They're ancient, most are just Egypt. The parks in Africa were the worst. Like, they didn't even have African theming. <laughs> I'm pleased to see a few good depictions, but overall, there needs to be a stronger push for more respectable, people-focused African theming.